All right, section 7-4. Our objectives for today, the student will be able to use properties to simplify logarithmic expressions and then translate between logarithms in any base. And so we're going to be able to convert logarithms from one base to another. Uh, there's going to be several rules we're, rules we're going to use today. And then uh, I'll give several examples so you know how to apply them as we go through it. So our first rule is the product property of logarithms. And it's for any positive numbers m, n, and b where b is not equal to 0. If I have the log base b of m times n, I can convert it to log b m plus log b to the n of n. Or what you're going to do more often is change it from two separate addition to one multiplication. It kind of just depends. Sometimes you'll convert this way to this, and other times you'll convert back the other way. And so as an example, if we take log base 4 of 2 plus log base 4 of 32, we can apply this rule to solve the equation and to simplify this. So addition becomes a single logarithm, and we just multiply 2 times 32 which gives us log 4 of 64. Now the parentheses, you can have those or you don't have to. And then we can use mental math like we used on 7.3 to simplify this further into, remember if we go exponential form, this would be base 4. We're trying to find the answer, so that's our exponent. And that equals 64. So again, like the last assignment, if we now write those with the same base, that's 4 to the x. Now I have to convert 64 into base 4. And so that would be 4 to the third power. And so now, since the bases are the same and they're equal, the exponents have to be the same. So x has to equal 3. And so now we know that this is equal to 3. So again, we added, we took the addition, made it one single logarithm by multiplying, simplified it, and then wrote it in exponential form, and then wrote it with the same base, and so we could evaluate what the exponent was. So that's the first example. We'll go through another one. So let's go log base 5 of 625 plus log base 5 of 25. And so we're going to find out what this is equal to. So again, because it's addition, we can write it as a single multiplication problem. So this would become 625 times 25 equals x. Now you could multiply this together, but I'll show you so you don't need a calculator, hopefully, that we can rewrite this. Now we know the base is 5. The exponent, we don't know. And I'm just going to write this as 625 times 25. Now remember, our objective with mental math is to write these with the same base. So I'm going to write 625 is 5 to the 4th power times 5 to the 2nd power for 25. And then when we multiply, we add exponents. So we get 5 to the x equals 5 to the 6. And therefore, x has to equal 6. And so we now know that this is equal to 6. 
Let's go through a third one. Make sure we're okay on this. A little bit more difficult. We'll do log base one third of 27 plus log base one third of one ninth. And again, we're trying to try and evaluate this so to find out what it's equal to. Addition becomes multiplication. So log 1 third of 27 times 1 ninth. Well, 27 is divisible by 9, so we get log base 1 third of 3 equals x. So our base is 1 third. Our exponent is x equals 3. And now we want to write this 3 in base 1 third. Remember, since it's the reciprocal, it's the inverse. And so we do to the negative first power. And so x is equal to negative 1. And we found the solution to that. So that is when we have either multiplication, we can change to addition, or addition, we can change to multiplication. The next rule we're going to use is the quotient property of logarithms. Now remember, quotient means to divide. So again, same thing for any positive numbers m, n, and b, and b is not equal to 0. We can break division down into subtraction, or we can take subtraction and convert it to division. Again, whichever one you need, most of them are going to be going from subtraction to division. So let's look at an example. Log base 2 of 32 minus log base 2 of 4. So now we convert it to division. Again, we're going to try and find out what this is equal to. So I'm going to write it as a single logarithm. So log base 2, now we divide. 32 divided by 4 is 8. Convert it to exponential form. So my base is 2. My exponent is x, and my answer is 8. Now, using the mental math again, we're going to write these with the same base. So 2 to the x equals 2, and 2 to the third power gives me 8, and therefore my x equals 3, and so this equals 3. So that's when it's subtraction. So pretty close to addition, we're just going to divide instead of multiply. So another one, log base 7 of 49 minus log base 7 of 7. Convert it to single log. Again, we're going to try and find out what this equals. What's that going to be equal to? Convert it to a single logarithm. Log 7, 49 divided by 7 is 7. Now we could do the mental math and put this in exponential form. But if you remember also our rules from the last chapter that if this is the same as this, then it's equal to 1. So x equals 1 in this case. So this is 1. So that is when we have subtraction, we can convert it to division, or sometimes division to subtraction. Next, the power property of logarithms. For any real numbers p and, po and positive numbers a and b, where b is not equal to 0, 
If we have the log base b of a to the p power, we can move that exponent in front and write it p times log b of a. So, example. Log 3, 81 to the second. So our rule tells us, since we have an exponent, I can move that out front. So we get 2 times the log, base 3 of 81. And now we can do the log 3 of 81, just like we did on the mental math and previous problems. So we're going to kind of forget about the 2. Just forget about that for right now, and we're going to evaluate log 381. So remember, that would be, we want to know what that equals. So 3 to the x equals 81. Convert those to the same base, and so that would become 3 to the x equals 3 to the 4th power gives me 81. So now we know that this value here is equal to 4. And so now we have 2 times 4, and so our answer is 8. So log base 3 of 81 squared, we now know is 8. So again, we brought out the exponent out front. Then we simplified log 381 and found out that that was equal to 4 on what we've done in the past. And then we just had 2 times that, so 2 times 4 gives us the 8. So let's do another one. Log 5 of 1 fifth to the third power. So our rule tells us we can bring the number out front, 3 log 5 to the 1 fifth. Now again, we're going to evaluate this. So 5 to the x equals 1 fifth. Write it with the same base. So to get 1 fifth from 5, negative exponent, that gives us the inverse. And so x equals negative 1. So now we have 3 times a negative 1. And so this is negative 3. So you can see we just have to move that exponent out front, do the rest like we've done in the past, and then we'll simplify the final answer. What if we have this? Okay? Log, and they don't give us a base here. So we have to remember that's a common logarithm. So even though it's not there, this is considered to be base 10. So we can bring the 4 out front. Again, you can write the 10 there, but you don't need to. And then remember our rule says, if the base is the same as this, it's equal to 1. So I know that this, because it's log 10, 10, is equal to 1. 4 times 1 is 4, and so that equals 4. So the key here is remembering that if there's no base given, it's base 10. Let's do one more. Log base 2 of 1 half to the fifth. So the exponent comes out front, 5 log 2 of 1 half. Putting this, we're going to solve this part. So that becomes 2 to the x equals 1 half. Write it in the same base, so 1 half would be 2 to the negative first power. Again, the negative power gives you the inverse, so 1 half. And so x is negative 1, so this here is equal to negative 1. 
and 5 times negative 1 is negative 5, and we're finished. So that's if the exponent is in the logarithm. We can bring it out front. Inverse properties of logarithms okay, and exponents. For any base, since that b is greater than 0 and b, again, is not equal to 1, this is kind of a, from the rule we had before, if you remember, our rule before said if we had log b, b, it was 1. Well, now we've added the exponent. But, so we knew this was equal to 1. But by the same token, when we add the x, I can now, I could bring that out front. Then I would have this. And again, we know that this is equal to this is equal to 1, and x times 1 would be x. And so anytime this value is the same as this, whatever that exponent is, is our answer. Also, if we put a logarithm in the exponent, and the base here is the same as the base in the logarithm, again, those will cancel out, and that is equal to x. So it's really pretty easy when you look at the rules. If I have log 8, 8 to the 3x plus 1, there's no work to show. This is the same as this. It's whatever the exponent is. So 3x plus 1. Um, how can I use that if I don't have an exponent? And they're not the same. Well, kind of like we did before, if I can write it with the same base, I know that 125 is 5 to the third power. Oh, the bases are the same as that. So the answer is 3. The second type of problem, again, fairly easy. If I have 2 log base 2 of 27, this is the same as this, so it's whatever the number is, 27. If I have 3, now again, it's only if these are the same. So log 3, and then the exponent is log 3 of 8x, then I know that it's 8x. So it's pretty easy to do those. Now, the change of base formulas, last formula we're going to look at today. And this is a formula that allows us to change it from any base that it is into any base I want it to be. So if I have log 7, um, let's say of 12, I can convert that to any base I want it to be. Let's say I want it to be base 5. I just write it with the base that I want, and then it's the value of x that I'm doing on the top and the base here on the bottom. So this would be log base 5 of 12 over log base 5 of 7. Now, in this case, it doesn't really help us to do it in that form, but we can change it into things we want it to be that are useful. If you remember our calculator, our calculator will change it in base 10. We can use common log. So I can, instead of doing this base 5, I can change it to base 10. And remember, if there's no base, it's base 10, so I don't need to write that. So the blue 10 doesn't need to be there. I can write it without that, and it means base 10. And now I can call the calculator up. And I just go log 12. Make sure you close the parentheses off divided by log log 
by 7 and hit enter and the answer is that this is equal to 1.2700 you can round it to three places, that's close enough for what we're going to be doing. All right, so let's take a look at some others. Let's do log 4 of 8. Okay? Now, we, if we try to do this mental math, you see the problem we end up with. We end up with 4 to the x equals... Uh, 8, and we can't write that in base 4. So I could do it just on the calculator. I could change it to base 10. So one way to do it would be to change it to base 10, so it would be log 8 divided by log 4. And let's do that on the calculator. So log 8 divided by log 4, 1.5, and I have the answer. Now, you can do it without the calculator sometimes by changing these to a base that we can work with both of these in. So a second method I could use, if I wanted to do it in my head, I could change it to base 2, because I can write 8 and 4 both in base 2. So I can write that as log base 2 of 8 divided by log base 2 of 4. Then 8 can be written as 2 to the 3rd. And 4 can be written as 2 to the 2nd. And we know that if this is the same as this, it's whatever the exponent is. So that's 3. And these two are the same, so it's whatever the exponent is, which is 2. And so we get 3 halves, which is equal to 1.5. So it's just another way you can do it if you didn't have a calculator, if you can change it to a base. But sometimes you can't do that. Let's take a look at another one. So let's go log base 9 of 27. Okay. Again, I can do it on the calculator. Log 27 divided by log 9. Now, don't think you can't do this, 27 divided by 9. I have to go to the calculator and go log 27 divided by log 9. And I get 1.5. Okay? If I want to do that mentally, same way, I could change it to something I can write 9 and 27 both in, which would be base 3. So log base 3 of 27 over log base 3 of 9. Convert those to base 3. That would be 3 cubed. This would be... 3 squared, so again, these are the same, it's whatever the exponent is, same, whatever the exponent is, so again, I get 3 halves, and I get 1.5. So, I would just do it on the calculator, but if you want to try some mentally, you could do that. So, the assignment, you're going to be using the combinations of these rules, Page 516, numbers 21 to 33, the odds, and 40 to 45, all. Hope that's helped. Good luck.